how amazing was Breaking Dawn Part 2? Seriously. Um, yeah, so this blog is basically going to be about my reaction to the film. And there's going to be a lot of spoilers in it. So if anyone actually hasn't seen the movie, I would advise you to stop watching the stop watching this now because I am going to give basically the entire film away or certain scenes that I really like. Um, I just thought it was incredible the entire film. I cried for a lot of it. Um, and uh, the ending scene, if people know, people will know what I'm talking about. I just, what a mind fuck. Seriously. <gasps> Jesus. Um, <laughs> I couldn't control myself when that happened. But I'm going to start <laughs> from like, I'm going to start from the beginning of the film and just make a few comments on... Um, what I felt about the film and the different scenes. Now, I'm not going to comment on every scene because obviously um, that will take forever. But I just want to talk about... <sighs> well... <laughs> I just want to... Oh, sorry, I, I just want to talk about some of the great scenes. Sorry, I just had to have a drink there. Cause... Um, I love the opening credits, actually. I really loved the way... In previous Twilight films, it wasn't really like that. You just had the Summit logo, and then you sort of got straight into the film. But the credits on this film, uh, for the opening of Breaking Dawn Part 2, is so beautiful. The opening credits, um, and the, having the actors' names, and how it written in red and then turning white. And, and especially with all the photography shoot of, like, the mountains and the snow... It was really, really, really beautiful, really beautiful opening credits and the music. Oh, wow, the music was gorgeous. Gave me so many feels and the film hadn't even started yet. I loved how it had a mixture of, from all the different movies. I mean, there was prominently, there was the one I could recognise from Eclipse. There was a bit from Twilight. Um, I couldn't hear much from New Moon, but maybe that's because... I, I don't remember, I mean, apart from Dreamcatcher, I don't remember much of the score in New Moon, but I could definitely pick out a lot of the different movies' scores in that opening credits, and I just, I love that touch, so Bill Condon, that was amazing. Um, the opening scene with Bella uh, opening her eyes, finally, as a vampire, and seeing Edward, wow, that was a lot, that was actually really nice, I laughed out loud at when Bella grabbed Edward and Edward was like, you're stronger than me now, it's your turn not to crush me. <laughs> that was that was beautiful, actually. I'm not a huge, I'm not a massive Bella and Edward fan. Um, I will put that out there, because um, anyone who knows me knows that I'm team Carlisle Cullen all the way. But I, what I have to say is I did adore the Bella and Edward scenes in the in this movie, actually. Um, and they were, re they were played so beautifully. Um, and I thought this little scene was, was very sweet and Kristen Stewart and Rob Patterson do have chemistry um, that is undeniable um, so yeah I really loved that scene really loved that and I loved it I loved it <laughs> when the hunt um, it was a lot quicker than I thought it would be I thought they might take a bit more time on that but actually when you look at it from a vampire's point of view, which you are, because you are looking through the eyes of Bella as a vampire, it makes perfect sense. Um, so no wonder it was that quick, because she, that's how they move. It's, it's over and done with in a flash. The vampires have got that speed. Um, and I thought it was very interesting that they included the the Bella's almost, almost going to get that human who was cl cliff climbing up the cliff. Um, and I thought that was interesting in the books as well. I thought, you know, Bella having the strength to re restrain her thirst, res uh, Bella having the strength to hold her thirst was was amazing. So yeah, I didn't always agree with in books because it makes uh, ma makes Bella sound like she's this epic, amazing vampire right from the start. But it it was it. I could I could see it. I can understand why though. Um, I loved it when we first saw the Cullens <laughs> and Carlisle. <laughs> you just knew I was going to come to that. Um, Carlisle's... Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just can't. It was sweet for when Bella got into... saw her daughter for the first time as well. That really moved me. 
And I will admit that made me tear, tear up a little bit because the CGI baby, yeah, it was okay. I was expecting worse. Um, so I loved it. I didn't love it, but I loved the, the entire scene with Bella get, seeing Renesme and her touching her cheek for the first time. It was That was actually really sweet and really touching. So... <clears throat> I wasn't too much. I wasn't too much bothered about how the CGI was done because it was actually the effect of the scene that mattered most. Um, and you know what? In this movie, there is a lot more scenes with the Collins themselves, which is what I'm, which is, which is why I love it so much. Because in previous films, it always pretty much the focus has been on Bella and Edward, but this time round, there are a lot more scenes with the Collins, especially Carlisle and Esme, and <sighs> that was just brilliant. <laughs> Um, Carlisle, oh, so, it, I keep forgetting my words, um, oh, what do I, because I keep thinking of that, that scene, I keep thinking of it, um, one scene that made me break, uh, one scene that made me break down so much, um, I just started crying from the very, from the word go, is when Edward, on the night before, the battle takes place on the night before the supposed battle takes place. Um, Edward thanks Carlisle Cullen for the extraordinary he, extraordinary life that he's given him. He sa he says to him, Carlisle, I've never thanked you for the ext this extraordinary life, and I just I just wept like a baby because that meant so much. I that line was definitely, Carlisle, Carlisle definitely deserved to hear that before Bella. I thought from the trailer Edward would say it to Bella, but oh god, I'm so glad he'd said it to Edward, to Carlisle, because Carlisle is the one that deserves to hear that first, as Carlisle created Edward, and if he hadn't, Edward would never have met Bella, and we'd never have had this life. Uh, that's the scene, I just howled. It's just like we met. It was so t so moving and so. Oh, I can't find the words. I love. I just. I adored it. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and Rob and Peter played that scene so well. I loved Peter's reaction as Carlisle when Edward told him thank you. You could see Carlisle was really moved by it, and that just set me off again. And I was like, shit. <laughs> Everyone, no one was, because everyone in the cinema, but I was just like, tears were all over, going all over my glasses and everything. I was just like, thank you, Edward, for, for saying something that you should have said, like, you know, a, a long time ago. Um, and I, I don't remember if that's actually in the books or not, because I can't remember if it was. If it wasn't, Stephanie, why didn't you include it in? And thank you for the mo Thank you, Bill Condon and Melissa Rosenberg, for doing that. Um, but if it was, it can't have been that memorable. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, there's some lovely scenes with Carlisle and Esme throughout the entire movie. Um, the little chess game that they play, a quick brief. And when, when um, Renesme is playing the piano with Edward, um, they've got, you've got um, Carlisle and Esme on the sofa and... He's putting his arm around her, and I was just like, "Oh, all the color, oh, there's my love. There's so much more we've had in, in them more, so much more of them in, in this movie than any other movies combined." Um, and then when they get, when they have to gather witnesses, you've got Carlisle and Esme again, and Esme's talking about how um, it'd be nice to go back to London, and Carlisle gives her, reaches out and gives her an like, affectionate, loving touch, and it's just like. Oh, so sweet. I'm so the chemistry between Peter and Liz Reese is amazing. Um, those two play Carlisle and Esme so well. I just adore the pair of them. Um, so yes, I was all seeing seeing these scenes just made me think. Well, I'm gonna love this movie now, whatever, because they've managed to actually include some meaningful Carlisle and Esme scenes. Oh my god. Um, and you know what, there were some lovely little glimpses of Jasper and Alice as well, which I really, really liked. Um, again, this, again, there wasn't that much of Rosalie and Emmett, but 
I guess they can't do everything, but for for fans of them, I suppose they're a bit, you know. And oh, I forgot what I was going to say because I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to start crying in a minute because I don't, I can't, I I just can't, I can't talk about this. Um. So then they did the battle. Then they so the vision for everyone who's seen you've seen the movie. What the absolute fuck? <gasps> when they did the video, uh, it was like, when it happened, I didn't, because you wouldn't know, Alice stepped out and we were all cheering, and then when Alice said, it doesn't matter what you decide, your decision is going to be that anyway, I was like, shit, they're actually going to fight. They are actually going to fight. Oh, fuck. Um, and when they took Alice away <laughs> and held her, and then Carl shirt up. Fuck, I can't. I just can't. I can't. Oh, shit. Then Carlisle screams. Um, oh, shit, I can't. I can't do this. I can't talk about it. It actually fucking upsets me. Um, You can call me sad or whatever, but I just, I can't. It's hard. So, but I'm going to get through this. So, oh, shit. Carlisle then screams, let her go. And then, fuck. He races towards Aro, um, and the two of them, they actually, they burst, they, they clash together. And, and when they go up into the air and, then Aro comes back down and Carlisle's body is chucked to the floor and then there's this really horrible scene where Aro lifts Carlisle's decapitated head off or up <sighs> sorry You might think I'm really sad, but Carlisle Cullen is my absolutely favourite character. To, so, when that happened, I was... Oh my god. I just wept like a baby. I, I just... I screamed, I wept, and I shook. I was like, you cannot do that! You can't kill him! You can't! And I can't believe he still did it. I can't believe he did it! Bill, you are so cruel. But all credit to Peter Facinelli because he was absolutely amazing. In fact, I want to say he stole the entire show. You know, the entire movie. He is the star of that movie. Really. Um, right. I didn't get myself under control, so... And Esme's reaction... Oh, fuck. Esme's reaction... Fuck. That was... Okay. Okay, I can't. Um... It was just brutal. I'm gonna put it that way. Brutal. Um... And then Jasper got killed! What?! How could you kill Jasper? I'm just like... What are you doing to us, Bill? What the hell are you doing? And then it descended into an all-out battle. And I was just like... Shit! This is not going to be end well. One thing I will say is that I'm so proud... I'm so glad Esme survived in that. Because I thought after... A lot of fan fiction right here is... She just curls up into a ball and just cannot control herself after in fanfics where they kill off Carlisle. Um, but she didn't. She kept fighting and that's how I thought Esme would react, to be honest. Um, but then Leah, Seth and Leah died. I'm just like, this is a fucking bloodbath and you're killing off all the cool characters. Um, and uh, as for Aro, well, <sighs> I've got to say, Michael Sheen, Oh, 
he also stole the entire movie because he was absolutely fantastic. Aro's laugh when he first meets Renesme. Oh my god. That's just the best thing ever. I kind of want it as like a ringtone or at least a recording of it because it's it's amazing. How does he get how does he how does Michael Sheen actually do that? That is a, such an incredible laugh. I laughed so much at it. I can't I still can't stop. It's fantastic. It's just brilliant. Oh. I mean, I was so I really, really hated Aro, but at the same time, I love him because he is, he is so villainous and he is just crazy. And Michael, Michael Sheen is just, well, outstanding. You can't say anything better than that. Um, so the battle scene happened and I was just, and we, and people were screaming and crying in the cinema and I was just like, I was left out of breath. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was just like, what, how could they do this? I was just in tears because I was gutted over Carlisle. I, I'm still gutted that. And then it turns out it was Alice's vision. It didn't happen. What? The, the shots and screaming, screaming were like, oh, you are serious. You are. People were clapping and going, oh, thank you. I know I was. I was like, oh, thank God. It means Carlisle is still alive. And then they showed the shots of all the Cullens together. And I was like, Carlisle. And I wept with tears. I wept in happiness because he was alive. Oh, fuck hell. It's just... I can't. It's so hard to even talk about this scene. And it's weird that I'm, it's not weird, but a movie that can affect you like this, it's, it 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 means it can only be a good thing. A movie that makes you feel emotions that actually gets you. That means a sign of a good movie. Because I sometimes you sit through movies that just don't really give you much of anything, and that it's either a sign not great writing and there's just nothing there. But this movie makes you feel everything. Um, uh, this blog's gonna be ages again, I can tell. I'm sorry. Shit. I'm kind of just worn out from, like, talking about this now. Um, so, it was, and then they had the ending where Bella and Edward were in the meadow, meadow, um, and... Bella goes, nobody has ever loved anyone as much as I love you. Now that line I hate because that, how does she know that? That's a bit presumptuous of Bella to assume that her love is greater than any other love in the world. So, yeah, that line could have been knocked out of the park, really. That line, not knocked out of the park, that line could have been cut out, I mean, because I just think, you know, it's a bit silly. Um... And all the um, all the vampires that were in it in this movie were fantastic. Alistair, I absolutely loved. I have to say, Alistair's amazing. I wish there were more scenes with him and Carlisle because, wow. Um, and I loved Benjamin actually. Rami Malek, it, it, oh, he was he was awesome. And the Romanians, oh, loved them. They like comic relief. I thought <laughs> Stefan and Vladimir. I thought, oh, fantastic. Oh. I love Guri Reinbeck. I, I love Guri Reinbeck, and they're, they're just just amazing, fantastic. Um, so that's pretty much my review on it. I so recommend you do see it because it's incredible. It's it really is. It's the best Twilight movie, and it's such a fitting end to a wonderful saga. I mean, I love Bill Condon for it so much, but I also hate him for what he put us through. <laughs> so. Just go and check it out because if you haven't seen it, one, why are you watching this blog? Because you've now been spoiled. But two, <laughs> um, you must see it. You just, you just have to. Um, it's, it's incredible. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably make another blog at uh, some point. Uh, probably about Peter Facinelli's time as Carlisle Cullen because I really want to just do a thank you blog to him. 
probably do it around his birthday actually so it fits in nicely okay i will speak to you guys later